hello and welcome back guys so now that we have uh, we have a test uh, with questions here let's uh, make the uh, let's change a few things here for example let's fix um, first of all we need to know how many questions this test has so that is more information at least so it's active yes and then maybe we can add uh, total questions somewhere here and also on top of that uh, let me add an edit and delete button on these guys so and then this one point we should add a way to edit this so this could be a comment that the teacher the teacher can add that is apart from the question so just an extra comment here so they can use that to say uh, to tell the student how many points or if that is necessary for each question so here let's go to our views and inside the views let's go to test tab view ink so first of all i want to move the date to the other side so right here in the classes i will just tell it to float to the other side to the end so float end like this that way uh, it moves to the other side then also maybe i can give it a padding of two so that it's slightly thicker than it is okay that's good enough and then i want to also um add an edit and delete button so let's come down here to uh, let's see we removed the card footer did we so maybe we needed it for that yeah hmm okay uh one point maybe let's just add it right here we'll use the um, p here and i'll tell this one to float to the end as well and then let me move this for now let me just see where the location of that is it's right there so we can add our edit and delete buttons right here so let me do this now for edit and delete i'm going to add some buttons and i'll make sure i make i write type uh actually there's no form here so it doesn't really matter instead i will use a an icon i'll say class fa fa uh editing is i think it's just the edit icon like this so back here let's refresh and we see uh, an edit icon but not looking so good so let's change the class of the button to button and then button uh, editing maybe we can use warning or we can use info i'm not sure which one is good i usually like warning when the text is white so add text white and refresh so there we go so we have that that you can click there or also let's reduce the padding to a one let's see that refresh and there we go uh, it doesn't look like it's centered at all maybe that's because of the margins on this thing here so not really sure what's going on there i think it's the margin i added on this so I can tell it to padding left. Will that work? Let's see that. Yeah. It's the padding right that is a little off. Padding. Actually, it's no longer left and right. It's start and end. So it's PE. Let's do that. Okay, much better. It brings it a little bit better to the, a little bit more to the center. Now, if you don't like the color, you can change it. Let's try info, which is a bluish color. Maybe that's more your speed. And I will duplicate this. And the second one will be a danger because it's for editing. So I'll leave everything else as it is there. And I'll change the icon to trash 
oat. There's one for trash, but I like the oat version better. So there we go. Now it doesn't seem like this one appreciates the padding changes on this side. So let me just remove that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it was working. Yeah. It's really up to you how you want to style these things. But uh, at least now we have an edit and a delete button. And then uh, let's look at the issue of uh, total questions. Yeah. Uh, also, if you want, you can move this to the top. So you save some space down here if that's the thing you're looking for. But let's add total uh, total questions here. So let's see what the, this is only for test questions, but this thing shows up every time, regardless uh, whether we are adding, let's see here, if I click add, this still shows up. So at least we should make sure that the information we are providing will always be available as well. So let's go upward to tests.view which is the one that has the table, is it? Uh, no, it's the single test. So where is that single test view? Mm -hmm. This is the one with the table. So where is the description here? Uh, it's right there. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do is this table data here. Let me move this down, table data and column span mm -hmm. so i just want to add one extra one here table data this is going to add one more column here so no problem here i will say uh questions question count maybe and then here i should provide the total question so I'll just say total underscore questions. That will be the value I look for. So let me copy this right here. Copy that. Boom. And then I will say, um, let me go to the controller now. So controller, a uh, single test and Yeah, this will be a little bit of a problem. So maybe let's not add it here. Let's add it here so that it only appears on one page. Because the problem is if we go to our add subject thingy here, we will be using a different function, which is this one. And once we are in here, we will have to again retrieve all the total questions here again, which is not very ideal. So instead, maybe we shall Let's go back to the um, single test view here and undo what we did here. This is where the, this is single-test.view.php so that we don't add it here. We'll add it here instead in the tab index, in the test tab view, where there's this header, test questions. Let's move things up a bit. Yeah, so right in here, I think is the ideal place to do that. So I'm just going to put a paragraph tab and uh, echo out the total questions. So put the thing there and just say uh, total questions, like so. And I could, it could do with uh, a bold. Now, test questions has to be created. So let's go to single test controller in the index here because this is the only place we will show this. And right here where we are getting questions, so we get all that reside here. And so all we need to do is do a count of questions. So, so let me come back here. So then it means we probably don't need to do anything more. Because this will reside in the other side. Now, 
it's possible that we will add some pagination later so let's just add it here that's no problem so I'll do this and paste and say total questions so total questions total questions so only now we have to create total questions here and equate it to something so for now I'm just going to say it's equal to count questions we will change this to more robust version once we start using pagination here if we will so if I now refresh then you see total questions three so one two three cool now the other thing is that um, the question numbers uh, the first question we added is this one so they will be shown in the opposite direction when a student is looking at them so meaning this one is question one actually and this is question three so let's swap these guys up back to this page and uh, instead of starting at num here we will use total questions as the start point so we'll put num is equal to total questions and then here let's reduce it every time so we'll put minus minus okay so if i now refresh uh, the order has gone from zero to from question two to question zero now this is not ideal at all we don't want a zero there so what we'll say is total questions plus one that's what we will do we start from there that way we end at one so refresh that's question three two and one okay so so far so good very nice now the remaining thing is to deal with uh, this comment of one point what i want to do is once we go here let's add an extra param here for that item 